Okay, basketball players. I've been asked so many times, and I just thought I might as well make a video on this topic. How do you find NCAA university recruiters? Basically, those recruiters are just coaches. They're nothing really special. I know there's a few schools who do actually have recruiters, but uh, for the most part, most schools just go with the coaches as the recruiters. So what we're gonna do is talk about how you can find those recruiters. Number one, and the most easiest way, is a Google search. So why do you need to find, uh, find NCAA recruiters? If you want to get a scholarship and you're not playing in those big shoe tournaments, you're going to need to be able to make a basketball resume, which I've made videos on that topic here on this channel, and basically say, this is my GPA. These are the awards I have won. This is how many volunteer hours I have. This is the programs I'm interested in, and this is how I play basketball. I know I can make an impact with your team. And obviously you're gonna have to have a highlight tape made. So generally speaking, you'll have two or three games cut up into one highlight tape around four to six minutes long. And with that, of course, I can help you out with a highlight tape. Uh, down below is a link in the description that you can click on and I can help you with the with the highlight tape idea and then you can go to Google and find those coaches now what do you type in for to find those coaches and to find those recruiters right now I'm gonna show you let's get down to my computer I have already typed in the University of Nebraska Omaha basketball which is one of the schools that I remember contacting and we we had some back and forth conversations and they were interested I, I got some shorts things like that so um, basically you type in Nebraska Omaha uh, men's if you're a man uh, basketball and you get their their stuff and then from there you go on to their website which I'm doing right now and then from here what you're going to do is try and find the sport so we've got basketball Ro we'll try roster first I haven't done this in a very long time so we're what we're trying to find is the coaching staff so now we have the coaching staff uh, you probably won't want to uh, message the head coach um, at first anyway, so what I would try to start with is Director of Men's Basketball, Jake Koch. And you click on his name, and there is his email right there. So then you would just copy that email, and then you would go copy and paste into an email uh, that you're just typing up, and then you've got yourself the... The, the recruiter's email. It's quite literally that simple. I'm not even messing with you. That's how simple it is. And if you think it's just this one school, well, let's let's go to Google again. Now let's type in Niagara uh, University Men's Basketball. Wow, that's still up there as a past search. Um, so yeah, uh, Men's Basketball right there. We've got their website. Uh, let's go through. Keep on going, keep on going. My wi my Wi-Fi is not that slow. It's pretty good. Um, let's see. What can we find? Let's try to find a link to coaches. There's nothing there. Let's go up. Sports, basketball. Hey, check this out. Roster. It's almost like if they're all using the same template. And now we can go down to the bottom. And hey, check this out. Strength and conditioning coach. Yeah, we don't need that. Head coach. Uh, director of basketball operations. Hey, they got one too. And there we go. There is her email right there. It's quite literally that simple. So how I would start with this is I would create not necessarily a, a copy and paste job of a, hey, this is my grades, this is this, this is that. I would have a somewhat of a template, but I would have underlying like lines where I would say, okay, I can fill in the school's name. I can fill in, in this case, Madison uh, Hesse. I can't say last name. I'm a horrible name caller. But I basically, um, hello blank, Madison. My name is blah, 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 blah. I think I could really fit into uh, blank, which would be Niagara University, because I do blah, 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 blah. And... That way you make it personal, you make it one-on-one -on -one with that person, and then at the end you say, and I also have a highlight tape created. 
here is a link to that highlight tape and generally for that highlight tape you would have it on YouTube as a public video and personally I would just get rid of comments because in case that person goes down and some friends or enemies or whatever you have might say some garbage about you um, I would just and when you're uploading the the video just say no comments and then that person's going to then be able to check out your tape and then if they like what they see they're going to contact you back now I'm gonna tell you right now um, you have a 2% chance of getting a coach messaging you back 2% now out of that 2% what they're gonna be saying is one of four things number one they're gonna say hey we have some camps come on play in one of our camps that way we're gonna be able to see who you are how you're playing blah 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 number two is hey send us more tapes I'm very interested but again they are just asking for more tapes uh, a third one is Hey, can you also send me the full game tape? That's when you have them. So when that happens, you know that they are actually legitimately interested in you. The first step is camps. You're going to get a lot of that. Number two, and that's good. That's like just to get into that 2% range. That's fantastic. That's what you really want. But number two even better than just saying hey we have camps even better is hey can you send me a couple more highlight tapes that's good number three hey you look like a really interesting player let's let me see some of your full game tapes and then of course the fourth step which is like you have to be Vince Carter which is the coach basically saying oh my god how did we miss you um, we need to really talk um, that's rare, but you'll get one of the first three, most likely. I'm not trying to downplay this. The fourth one is very, very unlikely. But uh, the first three are going to be the the main factors. And that's kind of the, th the four levels that you're looking for. Anyways, so there's many other videos on what to put into your, your resume, what to put in your cover letter, uh, what to put in your highlight tape. I've got many videos like that. When you're making a highlight tape, you want to put your offense, your defense, your rebound. Do not put free throws, um, things like that. And also the music, don't be putting some Eminem, DMX, uh, 50 Cent, F this, F that, uh, swear word that and this. No, you don't want that. Just put some, like, go to NCS, I think that's what it's called, non-copyright sounds. Uh, just download some non, like, some random beat that works. And uh, um, there's a really good beat that YouTube even offers you to download for free. It's called Woke Hard, uh, W-O-K Hard. Um, that's a great beat. I use it in a lot of my videos. Anyways, I hope that this video has helped you a little bit. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time. And if you have any other questions, of course, make sure to comment below. I will answer them. I might even make a video for you like this one. I'll see you guys there.